So, I've just recently started playing some Bloons TD6 in my spare time, just to have a little bit of fun and chill. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you exactly how to easily install mods, just so that if you fancy it, you can make the game a little bit more fun. So the very first thing you need to do is head over to the website that will be linked in the description. Make sure you get the Mod Helper and the Melon Loader installed. Just click on their links and that will automatically install them. They are going to be found on your computer wherever you have like downloaded files from your browser. Net6 is also required to get this to run. If you don't install Net6, there will be an error that pops up when you try and load the modded version of the game that we're going to create. So head to the other link in the description to get Net6 installed. When you are on the website, it's an official Microsoft website. When you are there, you are going to see a bunch of different versions you can install if you're not sure how to do it. There is a thing near the top, you'll see it says not sure what to download, click here. And that's going to simplify it so that you can install 6. There's also an option to install 7 if you want to. But make sure to get at least Net6 installed because if you don't, you cannot load the modded version of the game. Then if you head over to your Steam library, you find Bloons TD6. If you right click and go to properties, then make your way down to the installed files and click on browse. That's going to locate exactly where your like game files are saved or stored. And then if you go backwards one layer, you'll go to common and then you'll find Bloons TD6 there. So if you right click it, you're going to copy it and then you're going to paste it. Once that is done, you want to grab the copy and rename it. You can put whatever you want. So I'll just put Bloons TD6 and I'll put modded and then inside that folder. What you can do is create a shortcut of the game itself. So we go to create shortcut and basically that's going to let you either load up the real game or the modded version and you want to keep these separate. Never ever mod your like base game file because if something goes wrong with it, it's going to corrupt the entire thing. Like you have to basically uninstall the entire game, reinstall it so it's all fresh. Whereas if anything was to go wrong with this one, we have the like vanilla game as it is. We've created a copy so that we can mod it without like risking messing anything up for our original file. Then next what you want to do after you've placed your shortcut that you created like on your desktop or wherever it's easiest for you is you want to grab the folder for Melon Loader. If you've got WinRAR installed, it's going to be a WinRAR file automatically. If you don't, then you're going to need to install WinRAR, so W-I-N-R-A-R. -R. Once that's installed, it's all set up. If you grab all of the files within the Melon Loader, like zip file, you're going to extract them to your modded game folder. So after you've done that, you've selected where you're extracting them to. And the way I do that is if you have a look, I highlight them all, press extract to select the location. So for me, it's games and work stuff on my D drive, Steam, Steam apps, common, then Bloons TD6 modded. And you'll see the melon loader and everything in there. So next up, what you'll want to do is actually load up the modded version of the game just so the melon loader can start initializing and stuff like that. And then if you try opening up the modded file, that should all work and it's going to load up the game. And this part might take a little while, but you will see the game loading up with Melon Loader. And once it loads you in, it's going to say that it's a modded client, modified game client detected, some game modes will not be available. And once the game is loaded, all you want to do is exit out of it. And when you go back to the folder, you are going to see there are some new folders within that folder. So now if you click on the mods one and you grab the mod helper, copy it over to the mods folder. And once that mod helper is in your folder, all you want to do is go back and you want to launch the game again. And once you load up the game this time, you're going to see in the bottom right corner that you've got mods. So if you click on that, what you can do is then go to browse mods and you can find all of these different mods that are available. There are seven pages of them. So for an example, if we have a look at Mega Knowledge, click on the eye, adds in new extra powerful monkey knowledge effects. You can find them at the bottom. Then there are things like, for an example, there's a really helpful one here called Time Machine, stores backups as you play, allowing you to travel back in time to any previous round you passed, even if you just lost. And then you've also got something called Game Modes Plus Plus, adds multiple game modes to the game, which includes fast track compatible with nearly every modded game mode enabled in the settings, mastery mode, boss rush, inflation, baby mode, small towers, accelerated rounds. So if you click on the down arrow, it's updated for 37.0. And if we click yes and download it, 
now that that is downloaded, we need to restart the game in order to apply the changes. And what you can do is when you're in the mod menu, so if you go from browse mods, you go back in this mod menu here, you can click restart at the top right. Then it pops up with a window saying restart required. Changes you've made will require restarting the game to take effect. Would you like to do that now? And if you give it a minute, it will take you back to your desktop. It will restart the game on its own. And now the restart button's not in the top right anymore. And that is game modes plus plus put in there. Also, if you want to create your own mod, you can do that at the bottom left. So now if you go to the play tab, so from the main menu, you go to play, click on any of them. And in the different difficulties, the different modes are there. So if we go into medium, for an example, you've got like small towers, inflation. If we go to easy, you've also got baby mode. And if you look at the prices on the right hand side, yeah, baby mode makes everything a lot cheaper. And also gives you a load more health as well. And there are even game modes in this bundle that will give you things like support only. So you're only allowed to do like banana farms and spike factories and things like that. So there are a bunch of different mods that you can install to basically elevate your experience and how much fun and entertainment you get out of Bloons TD6. And then if you don't want to play with mods anymore, you want to go back to your original game file. All you've got to do is grab the folder with all the modded stuff in it and just delete it. Then Steam is not going to know any different. When you load the game from Steam, it will load the original game, the vanilla one. And that is the exact reason you create the copy of the game folder. So that you don't mess up your original game file in any way at all. And that was a look at how to easily install the mods for the game. And on that note, we are going to leave the video there. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like is appreciated. If you wish to support me further as a creator, there are links in the description. Let me know your thoughts about the video in the comments. And if you want to watch more, you can click the video on screen. All support on the channel is greatly appreciated and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.